Thank you for watching. Uh, may God bless you today with this word we will be reading. And uh, we will be reading from Psalm 18 and 2 Samuel 22-24 uh, through 31. Let me just start reading. And the uh, topic would be, uh, with the merciful, with the merciful you show your, yourself merciful. So we're talking about God. Let's just read first. I will read Psalm 1825. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful. Who are you? G uh, Jesus, God. Uh, with a blameless man, you will show yourself blameless. With the pure you, you show yourself pure. And with the devious, you will show yourself shrewd. For you will save the humble people, but will bring down haughty looks. Now I will be reading almost the same scripture in 2 Samuel 22, 24, 31. In all the instruction of the Lord, they are actually repeating all the time. And see, uh, Samuel 2, uh, 2 Samuel 22. I will read from the 24th. I was also blameless before him. And I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyes. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful. With the blameless men, you will show yourself blameless. With the pure, you will show yourself pure. And with the devious, you will show yourself shrewd. You will save the humble people, but your eyes are on the hearty, that you may bring them down. For you are my lamp, O Lord. The Lord shall enlighten my darkness. For by you I can run against a troop. By my God I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. Again, there's so many things we can point out and just apply to our lives and apply and take it as our, our lifestyle, our confessions, our beliefs, and put in our belief system in and out as information in our mind. That's the information I need to follow. That's uh, something the Lord is calling me to do. That's a, his commandments and writing in the hearts of my in my in the tablets of my heart uh, and just write meditate and that speak that believe that those are wonderful things so see it's uh, actually this is this is works exactly this in our life it works exactly how it says in the Bible yeah he says uh, David says about himself I'm reading second in Samuel I was also blameless before him so he knows that when he chooses his actions, he knows that he's purposely choosing to please God. So blameless before him, that means clean heart, pure heart, uh, loving, merciful, um, truthful. Uh, we already read so many times what God wants us to put on on us. Yeah, I was also uh, blameless before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyes. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful. That means if I'm merciful, I'm giving mercy. What is merciful? It's a forgiving. Mercy. Instead of uh, revenging, instead of going and uh, uh, perform vengeance and, um, you know, like going and just doing evil, evil to evil, uh, that's what merciful, but I'm choosing to give mercy. I'm going to per forgive this person. I'm going to uh, just um, maintain wonderful, good relationship in, and I'm not going to hold grudges. This is a merciful, yeah, mercy. Mercy in everything, in everything, in a people, mercy. It's, it's uh, very great things, and God will be merciful to us. He will be merciful in your flaws, in your um, shortcomings, in your... Uh, uh, wrongdoings, God will be merciful. God will forgive that when you come and repent and say, Lord, forgive me. He will be. He will be merciful. And it says, uh, 
with a blameless man you will show yourself blameless what does it mean with a blameless man there's nothing to blame yeah everything i'm choosing it's it's pleasing it's i have favor with the lord and if i have favored with the lord because by my, with my faith and my actions i put together it's my words are kindness my words are uh, loving instructions my words are uh, blessings then uh, this is blameless that's how it's called blameless nobody can blame nobody can uh, uh, put you on guilt uh, criticize blame you so that's when you're when you're such a blameless god will show himself blameless to you too he will be blameless to you you, you can obtain from god you can uh, come in the prayers and the lord hears the blameless one so he will be blameless to you also with the pure you will show yourself pure same thing he will be honest with you he will be pure with you he will be everything everything what's pure what is good will come to you from the lord because you were doing that towards others and with the devious you will show yourself shrewd why it's like he didn't he doesn't he doesn't say with the devious you will show yourself devious with the devious person who were also always in mind having in having some kind of uh, some kind of uh, thoughts like evil thoughts devious thoughts devious he's kind of hiding in shrewd so shrewd that's when god is not going to give that's why god is going to be shrewd to the devious one he the devious will pray to god will show themselves oh see i'm praying but god is going to be shrewd he's not going to give the blessings he's not going to answer to your prayers that's why so many people they pray 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 they cannot get their prayers done they, they cannot get them and as we have actually other places like they pray and that don't don't receive because they receive for their own pleasures for their own selfish needs so because of the jealousy because of the pride so and, and god is going to be sure no no i possess those things i give those things i give blessings i send this to you uh but if you're devious in devious heart uh i will show you myself shrewd okay i'm not giving anything shrewd that's mean yeah, you know what she would mean. You will save the humble one. You will save the humble one. But your eyes on the haughty, that you may bring them down. So humble, what is humble means? We already talked in one, one of the videos. Maybe it was in Russian video. So, but anyway, I remember I was saying, uh, God was revealing what is humble. Humble, it doesn't mean that humble, you're like, you talk this way, slow or quiet. You walk quiet. You don't say anything, no good, no bad. Very shy, very introvert. And it's not humbleness. That's, you cannot call a person a humble. Humble person is a humble. I'm a humbling myself to the what God says. I'm humbling myself to the way of God. I'm humbling myself to be loving, to be merciful, to be a uh, kira. It's okay. Uh, to be merciful, to be humble. I'm humbling to the word of God. I'm humbling to myself and say, Lord, I humble before you. Like when you fast, when you fast and pray for the needs, for the needs of others, that's when, this is the time when you humble yourself before the Lord, abstaining of, from food. Humbleness is to me is... is uh, you know, my needs are, can wait, but there is needs, and then I will go and I will do it for the needs of others. The others are more important because they have more troubles, and I can help them. That's a humbleness. Humbleness it doesn't mean that you're shy or introvert. It's No, shy and introvert is people are uh, uh, insecure, and insecure people are prideful people. They're, they're full of pride because they don't want to say something. They're afraid somebody is criticizing them. Or they, they just don't want to say anything, no truth, no anything, because, because they, will not be, they won't be loved. But they want to be, we want to be loved. I don't want to tell the truth. They see that people are going the wrong direction, but they don't want to correct them because they're, they don't want to say that. And they're like, this, I'm humbling. It's not a humbleness. It's not. You need to always correct, correct with love speak to people and you, you give the reason in motives why are you saying why are you saying this truth to these people because you you want to help them you want to help them you want to be them better better people obtaining like god be blameless yeah be pure there are some and you see the unpureness uh uncleanness and uh, 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 
a person that's that's with iniquities and you don't show it's it in show because you don't want to hurt their feelings no this is opposite to the opposite to the humbleness and uh being uh um, um, you know humility humbleness it's it's completely different it's it's opposite it's a pride pride because if i say oh they were not going to love me but i want to be loved i want to be you know like respected this is this is that's how it, you know, with the humble humble to the lord humble you save the humble people and god saves the humble people those kind of people but your eyes are on the haughty your eyes are on the haughty what is prideful haughty look at me i'm the woman so haughty that you may bring them down and jesus brings them down there will be a situation they'll crash they will be they will be laugh people will laugh at them because they're haughty and then god will show them how um silly and foolish they are uh in their own eyes because they their own eyes their own thoughts their own heart they choose in their mind to choose to exalt them but god says you bring them down he, why why this is all because for you are my lamp O lord he is the lamp look if i turn the lamp turn on with a with a bright shiny lamp, um, light bulb there, so it's everything you can see so clear. You can see where is the dirt needs to be removed, where is the dust. So you see that He is my light, and we God Jesus is our light. He enlightens our our way. He 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 gives us opportunity to see what is wrong, where is the dirt, where is uncleanness, and we want to be clean. We want to be. He is my light. Thank God you're my life. Thank God the Holy Spirit corrects me when I'm thinking wrong, doing wrong, acting wrong. So he's my lamp because he's my lamp. Thank you, Lord. For Lord shall enlighten my darkness. That's why he's enlightened. There's no darkness. Darkness, everything is a destruction. In the darkness, you can run into something, break your leg. You just don't see anything. You just don't see. You're just going. and you. So, But he enlightens that darkness. The people are when they live in their sins and their wickedness and they're living in the darkness and they harm themselves first than others. For by you I can run against the troop. See, the power is given. So that is troop. There's a lot of soldiers and I can run against and win. By you. That's what the Lord gives to you, to the humble. But uh, by my God I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. So this is our uh, topic about who God is and how God is reacting on every your actions. Every your actions, he will act and he will be the same to you. If you're loving, God is loving to you. If you're forgiving, God is forgiving to you. If you're merciful, you're merciful to you. If you're, if you're uh, evil, God is evil to you. God will show, he will, he will, he will, you'll get back to you. Because, because why he was doing, I think, this is my thought, because why he's doing, to teach you. So, to teach you, you cannot just go and spread this absolutely negative energy. And, and it was because we are, we are all, it's all about, we are living in energy, we use the energy. It's, it's a, it's uh, like, uh, uh, you know, everything is with radiance, like we radiate. We, like I'm a Christ, I'm in Jesus Christ, I radiate Christ Jesus. Radiation is a power. Radiation is something that comes as like a waves of that positive, beautiful, fragrancy, energy. If you, uh, everybody who are, are doing the um, wrath, anger, all the devious things, they radiate and they, they are staying in this radiation. And that radiation is killing people, destroying from the inside to the outside because God says that not what comes to your mouth will defile you, but not to your mouth, but what is coming out of your mouth will defile you defile ruin you first and then ruin others hurt others so and we don't when people will hold grudges we people hell hate you that's all the, it's it's crushed and ruined uh, um, radiation r r radiance glory it's crushed and ruined in and uh it's it's in very negative black dark destructive 
destructive uh, energy around you. So the uh, but why are you keep using the energy energy? I just thought the glory of God is just something very radiant, and it just this has you know impulse like pulses in just going and and just and just you spread this beautiful wonderful glory of God which just touches people. I just don't know. I'm just thinking about it like that. So um, this is this is the word trust in Him. And act in choosing your mind, choosing your mind, and conceiving your heart, the things that God is very pleased with. Love, love, and again, love. Thank you very much. And this is it for today. Um, we, will talk, we will be talking next time. Be blessed.